magandang araw sa inyong lahat. The Synod frequently insisted on the need for a prayerful approach to the sacred text as fundamental element in the spiritual life of every believer in the various ministries and states in life with particular reference to Lectio Divina. Ang ibig kong mangyari ay palalimin ang spirituality ng mga clergy at laity sa Diocese of Antipolo. Sabi nga ni St. Jerome, Ignorance of the Scripture is ignorance of Christ. Kaya nga, pupunta sa inyong mga parokya ang mga lady na may kasamang mga pare upang ituro unang-una sa inyong Paris Pastoral Council ang pamamaraan ng Lectio Divina, ituturo nila sa iba't ibang mga organization at ministries at sana makaabot hanggang sa periperis ng inyong parokya upang dumating ng araw, lahat na tayo gagawa nito. Isang mapagpalang buhay para sa ating lahat. Buhay na pinagpala na galing sa kapangyarihan ng salita ng Diyos. Nilikha niya ang lahat sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng salita. At higit sa kapangyarihan ng salitang lumikha, ang salita ay naging tao at nakipanayam sa atin. Niyakap niya ang ating pagkatao at sa pagyakap niya sa ating pagkatao, nabigyan niya tayo ng pagkakataong yakapin ang Diyos. Ang Leksyo Divina sa kapangyarihan ng Banal na Spiritu, hinahayaan niya tayo na ang layunin ay makita ang mga bagay-bagay sa buhay ayon sa mismong pananaw ng Diyos. Let this be our prayer. Lord, allow me to see the way you see. Allow me to know the way you know. Allow me to understand the way you understand. Allow the word of Jesus to transform us into the very heart of the Lord. Puso ni Jesus, pag-iisip ni Jesus, pananaw ni Jesus. Ito ang nilalayon ng pagdiriwang ng Leksyon Divina. Mayroon tayong apat na pamamaraan na makatutulong sa pagdiriwang ng Leksyon Divina. Sa Lectio Divina, ang Diyos ang magtuturo ng lahat. Lectio, ano ang sinasabi ng pagbasa? Basahin ng bukas ang puso, bigyang pansin ang kapaligirang nakasaad sa kwento, ang mga taong nakasangkot, mga salitang ginamit, ang daloy ng kwento. Pasukin ang kwento. Meditatio. Ano ang sinasabi ng Ebanghelyo sa atin? May mensahe bang katulad ng sa ating kwento sa buhay? Maaaring sunda ng pangyayari, nasaan tayo dito? Sino ka dito? Habang nagsasalita si Jesus, ano ang iyong naririnig? Dito papasok ang karanasan ng pagtatagpo ng puso ng tao at ng kalooban ng Diyos. Oracho, panalangin. Sa mga narinig natin sinabi ng Diyos, ano ang tugon natin sa Diyos? Inaanyayahan tayong itaas natin ang ating kalooban sa Kanya. Ang tugon sa tawag ng Diyos. Ang tugon sa Kanyang sinasabi. Ang tugon sa Kanyang salita. Ang panalangin ito, mga kapatid, ay lalong magaganap na napakaganda sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu ng Diyos. Contemplatio. Sa paanong paraan binago ng pagbasa ang ating pananaw sa buhay? At itong pagtingin ito ang siyang mag-aakay sa atin sa kung anong konkretong pagkilos ang ating gagawin bilang pagtugon sa turo ng Diyos na hubuhubo sa atin. Lectio Divina invites us to have a deeper communion with God. I am the vine, you are the branches. Every time branches are connected to the vine, we will bear much fruit. Ang Lectio Divina, idinudugtong tayo ng mas malalim sa puso ng Diyos. 
kung saan ang kalooban ng Diyos ang siya rin nating nagiging kalooban. Ano nga ba ang kalooban ng Diyos? Ang gumawa ng mabuti, ang magmahal, ang maglingkod, isa buhay kung ano ang kanyang niluloob. Ito ang layunin ng Leksyon Divino. I've been serving God for almost 40 years now. And if I forget my why, why I do what I do, why I serve, why I preach, why I get up in the morning, everything is gone. And the only way for me to rediscover and embrace my why is by getting into the Word, by listening to His voice through Scripture and in the depths of my heart. Go forth and serve God. Be His light in the world by allowing His light to shine every day through Lectio Divina.
Good morning. Today is Thursday of 34th week in Ordinary Time. And our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Alexander Balatbat. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. God our Creator, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. God our Savior, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. God our destiny, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Steer up the wheel of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that is striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth became illumined by his splendor. He cried out in a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a haunt for demons. She is a cage for every unclean spirit a cage for every unclean bird, a cage for every unclean and disgusting beast. A mighty angel picked up a stone like a huge millstone and threw it into the sea and said, With such force will Babylon, the great city, be thrown down and will never be found again. No melodies of harpists and musicians, flutists and trumpeters, will ever be heard in you again. No craftsman in any trade will ever be found in you again. No sound of the millstone will ever be heard in you again. No light from a lamp will ever be seen in you again. No voices of bride and groom will ever be heard in you again. Because your merchants were the great ones of the world, all nations were led astray by your magic potion. After this, I heard what sounded like the loud voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, Alleluia, salvation, glory, and might belong to our God, for true and just are his judgments. He has condemned the great harlot who corrupted the earth with her harlotry. He has avenged on her the blood of his servants. They said a second time, Alleluia, smoke will rise from her forever and ever. Then the angel said to me, Write this, 
Blessed are those who have been called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Know that the Lord is God. He made us His we are. His people, the black He tends. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Enter His gates with thanksgiving, His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him. Bless His name. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. For He is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that its desolation is at hand. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Let those within the city escape from it, and let those in the countryside not enter the city. For these days are the time of punishment, when all the scriptures are fulfilled. Woe to the pregnant women and nursing mothers in those days, for a terrible calamity will come upon the earth and a wrathful judgment upon this people. They will fall and by the edge of the sword and be taken as captives to all the Gentiles, and Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, Perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves, people will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. What a paradox. Isang kabalintunaan ang pinapahayag ng Ibanghelyo. We talk about signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world. And then suddenly, stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. Redemption amidst fear. Redemption amidst apparent destruction of the world. The Son of Man coming in the cloud with 
power and great glory. Stand erect and raise your head. Facing helplessness, hopelessness, failures, darkness, roaring of the sea, flood, Raleigh, Ulysses, COVID-19. Are these in parallel with what is being heard? Amidst the suffering, amidst the strong typhoon, amidst that flood, stand erect. Redemption is at hand. I remembered Pope Francis when the typhoon Yolanda came, sabi niya, I came here, though a little bit late, but I am here with you to tell to you, to proclaim to you that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is our God. In the midst of pain, of helplessness, we stand erect, because the redemption is at hand, for Jesus is our Lord. In the midst of helplessness, confusion, anxiety, darkness, hopelessness, we are here proclaiming Jesus is Lord. And because Jesus is Lord, Jesus our King, the redemption is at hand. Great people, when they are wounded, they do not see the wound, but they see wisdom. Every time they encounter problems, they do not see problems, they see possibilities. We are children of God. We are great people. Expect for some worse problems to come. And when problems come to our life, we stand erect and proclaim, this is the right time to celebrate our greatness. Because in celebrating our greatness, we proclaim that we have the Lord, Jesus the Lord. On the road to victory, you will meet your worst opponent. The devil is there waiting for us in the battle. And when we see the worst opponent, we stand erect, going back to our own power, no other than the power of Jesus who is our Lord. And we stand erect and raise our heads. Now I see you, devil, trying to destroy our life. Today, because of our Lord Jesus Christ, the redemption is at hand. Kapag nararamdaman natin ng maraming unos sa buhay, Saan tayo humuhugot ng lakas? Walang iba kundi kay Jesus. Ang ating Panginoon, ang ating Hari. Walang ibang makapagbibigay ng lakas sa atin kundi si Jesus. Ito rin ang turo ng mahal na Birheng Maria, do whatever He tells you. Do what the leader is telling us. In the battle, follow the leader. No other than the Lord. The Blessed Mother is reminding us of our power. Do not be disturbed by the roaring of the waves. Do not be disturbed 
by by what is happening to the signs of the sun, the moon, and the stars. Maglahuman ang mundo. Fix your eyes to the Lord. Focus our attention to Jesus from His powerful word. Listen to Him. For there we can get our power. Mawalaman ang lahat. Salita ng Diyos, hindi mawawala. Yan ang ating lakas. Yan ang ating kapangyarihang nagmumula kay Jesus. Never allow fear to consume us. Never allow anxieties to feel, make us feel helpless. Perfect love casts out all fears. And because of the power of love, we can stand erect, raise our heads, and proclaim that our redemption is at hand. In the mighty name of Jesus, who is our Lord. Amen. As we gathered to celebrate the mystery of our salvation, let us turn to God the Father with confidence and implore His mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God may be drawn to prayer and penance as they hope for the coming of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who govern human society may see the hands of God moving in the events of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may look to the future with hope and confidence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may live in security and hope through the prayers and support of their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Son of Man may grant salvation to those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the special intentions of Stephen and Lani David, Samuel Martires, for the thanksgiving of the newly appointed Chief Justice of the Court of Appeals, Justice Remedios Fernando. We also pray for the intentions of Red and Portia Cruz, Hill and Annie Haveliana, Abel and Justada Pangilinan, Matthew Rodriguez. We pray for all the souls in purgatory. We remember them. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. We also remember the special intention of Mar and Neng Santos. May and Arnold Karandang Joy Carlos Rosana Pe. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name. And in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal Mystery. And so with all the angels and saints, as in joyful celebration, we praise you and we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to partake in his sacred broken body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May all loving God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Father Alex Balatbat, I was assigned by our bishop here as the administrator of the Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House. The Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House is located inside the St. Michael compound, St. Michael Retreat House, San Jose Extension, San Isidro Antipolo City. Oh